Hello, this is Dr. Tushar Shah, 25th of July, and we are talking about comorbidities and COVID-19. In the first part, we spoke about the three most important ones, hypertension, diabetes, and obesity. Now we talk about the others. The most important amongst the others is age. Increasing age increases the mortality and the morbidity of COVID-19. We all know that. India's aging population is small. Probably 6% of the whole population is above, above the age of 60, which might partly explain why mortality is less in India. The other comorbidities include chronic lung diseases, chronic heart diseases, chronic liver diseases, chronic kidney diseases, and brain diseases, plus malignancies, HIV, and immunosuppressed states. Let us talk a bit about each. Amongst heart diseases, Systolic dysfunction is a greater comorbidity than diastolic dysfunction. So if the ejection fraction is less, the prognosis is poorer. In lung diseases, restrictive lung diseases like emphysema and interstitial lung disease are a graver uh, prognostic uh, marker than obstructive lung diseases like asthma and chronic bronchitis. Amongst liver diseases, decompensated liver diseases are worse than compensated liver diseases. In CKD, patients on dialysis are worse off than patients not on dialysis. In neurological diseases, patients who are prone to aspiration like Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's patients have graver prognosis. About CKD a little bit, in CKD, 10,000 patients of CKD in Mumbai are on dialysis. Out of these 10,000 patients, approximately 1,000 have already acquired COVID-19. Of these 1,000, about 200 have died. 20% mortality of CKD patients on dialysis in Mumbai as of today. These are approximate figures. So this is a huge number. Whether they get their COVID from the dialysis center or not, we don't know exactly. In fact, many dialysis technicians develop COVID-19. Some people are worried about pregnancy. It, should, it is wrong to call pregnancy a comorbid state, obviously, until the child becomes a teenager, when it becomes a real comorbidity. Well, this is all about comorbidities and we'll come again tomorrow with a new topic. Thank you so much.